Good afternoon, viewers. You are on to mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, I want to look at uh, a tutorial question on formation of new quadratic equations from the existing rules. This is also a continuation uh, of what we've learned before on how to form new uh, equations, new quadratic equations from the existing uh, rules that are given. So please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that each time I upload the video, you'll be notified. Thank you. God bless you. Now, if alpha and beta are roots of the equation 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 7, obtain the equation whose roots are 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared. We've been given a quadratic equation. And we are told that alpha and beta are the roots of the equation. Now we want to obtain another equation from the roots that are given with respect to 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 equals 0. Which, uh, taking, taking cognizance of the fact that the new uh, equations must be formed from another root. Basically, the original equation is 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 equals 0. Uh, with alpha and beta being the roots of that equation. Now we want, to, we want to obtain, we want to form another equation whose roots are 1 over half a squared and 1 over beta squared. But with respect to the previous equation. So how do we go about this? Now, we know that the new root now, the new roots, the new roots are 1 over alpha squared and, uh, and uh, 1 over beta squared. So, the sum of the roots, sum of the roots are, is it called, is it called 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared. So, by the time we find the sum, the SA will be alpha squared, beta squared. So, alpha squared in alpha squared, beta squared, you mean beta squared. Beta squared is 1, beta squared plus beta squared canceling alpha squared, beta squared, you mean alpha squared times 1, that's alpha squared. Okay? So, which is something as alpha squared plus beta squared all over alpha squared beta squared. Right, good. With this, we recall, because we have to simplify the, the new uh, fractions we have obtained, we recall that, recall that alpha squared plus beta squared, even from our previous uh, lectures, is equal to alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta. Oh, we can still recall that. Minus 2 alpha beta. Okay. Now, with that, with that, the problem can be further simplified as if that is the case, that means we will have, therefore, that implies that alpha squared plus beta squared, all of that will have what? Alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta all over alpha squared beta squared. And what is alpha squared? Alpha plus beta, uh, uh, you know, alpha plus beta itself is minus b all over a. Okay? So and, uh, alpha beta is c all over a. So what is that? Uh, how do we get our b and a? So we should recall our a is 2 because the question of x squared here, if you compare this equation with a x squared, plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So our b will be minus 7, and our c will be minus 3. Okay. So with this, you can easily get our what? Our alpha plus beta. So alpha plus beta now will be minus minus 7 all over 2, which is what? Minus and minus is plus 7 over 2. And our alpha beta, alpha beta is uh, c over a and c is minus 3 all over a is what is 2 okay so with this it is not how therefore therefore alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta all over alpha squared beta squared will be Alpha plus beta, we'll obtain what for that? 
7 over 2, 7 all over 2 all squared, minus 2 multiplied by alpha beta is minus 3 all over 2, then everything all over alpha squared uh, beta squared. That is not the same thing as alpha beta all squared. So, yes, because uh, just the, it's, 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 it's the value of, uh, uh, you know, that has a square root. It's at the perfect square. Okay? So that would be what? 7 squared is 49 all over 2 squared is 4 minus. Minus as minus is plus. 2 cancel to that's what? 3 all over 1. Then all over alpha beta all squared. That's minus 3 all over 2 squared. So that will give us the same on top will be 4. 4 and 4, 1 times 40, 49, that's 49 plus 1 and 4, 4 times 3, that's 12. Uh, everything all over minus 3 squared is 9, all over 2 squared is 4. So this will work 61 over 4 uh, divided by 9 over 4. And that will be what? 61 over 4 times 4 all over 9. 4 year 1, 4 year 1. So we have 61 all over 9. So the sum of that root is 61 over 9. We have gotten the sum of the roots. Let's look for the product of the roots. The product of the roots. The product of the roots of the roots of uh, of what? Of the roots of um, the product of the roots of 1 all over alpha squared and uh, 1 over beta squared will be equal to 1 over alpha squared multiplied by 1 over beta squared. That will be 1 all over alpha squared beta squared. I hope you understand that. That will be 1 all over alpha beta all squared. Okay? So which is the same thing? This is very simple. 1 all over. What is alpha beta? Our alpha beta is minus 3 over 2 all squared. That will be what? 1 all over. Three squ minus 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is uh, 4. So that is 1 all over 1 divided by 9 over 4, which is what? 1 over 1 times 4 over 9. That would give us 4 all over 9. Okay. Now with this, to form the new equation, what is now the new equation? The new equation is from the general one, s squared minus the sum of the root. You can say sum of the root. That's right. Sum of the root. With x, then plus the product, plus the product, product of the roots, of roots, equals to zero. Okay, so that implies s squared minus the sum of the roots we obtained is 61 over 9 multiplied by x plus the product of the root we obtained is 4 all over 9. It's 4 all over 9. So in this case, just multiply through by 9 is equal to 0. Now multiply through by the LCM. Multiply through by 9. So it gives. So when you multiply through, so as to remove this 9, you have 9 s squared, then minus 61 over 9 times uh, that's uh, 61 x, then plus 4 over 9 times 9, 4 is equal to 0. So this is a new equation from the roots 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared. Thank you very much. Please don't forget, click the subscribe button below the video. God bless you.